I feel like the designer brands we lean towards is Gucci and Chanel. So we want to test you guys and our followers on Instagram into thinking we're wearing luxury brands. Oh my God. People are gonna people are gonna comment that ain't it. Ah! Hey guys, I'm Nikki. And I'm Gabby. And today we're doing a really different video for you guys that we've never tried on this channel before. So we've noticed that Instagram and fashion and trends have gotten like very luxurious. I feel like the luxury has gotten like out of hand. Like, like I feel like luxury hauls on YouTube, like no offense guy, they've become so mainstream. Oh, Gucci slides, it's like the new normal. So we wanna test you guys and our followers on Instagram into thinking we're wearing luxury brands. That means you guys can do it too and you don't have to break an arm or a leg if that's how you wanna dress. We are going to thrift our outfits and then we are going to Hobby Lobby to buy essentials and then we are going to DIY these designer outfits. Fits. And then we're gonna upload these photos on Instagram to see if we can trick you guys. I feel so bad by saying trick you guys, but you get what we're saying. I feel like it shows don't trust the internet. The internet is an illusion. So we went to our local thrift store and it was super crowded because it was a Saturday. It was a Saturday right after Christmas. There's a lady behind you. Oh, Nate. So it was going a little crazy. I feel like the designer brands we lean towards is Gucci and Chanel. So when I think of Gucci, I think of the green ribbon with the red line down the middle. And I found this belt that was green with a tan line down the middle. And obviously I could get some paint at Hobby Lobby and make that line red. Because on an Instagram photo, that's gonna look like a real Gucci belt. You won't be able to see that that's paint. Then I also found this chunky sweater. Would this pass as Gucci? I feel like it would. If I put the logo or something. And when I think of Gucci and their clothing, I think of deep, dark colors with pops of red. So obviously I picked that up. And then I went over to the counter and I found all these like pins and necklaces and jewels. And I just grabbed as many as I could that looked Gucci because when I also think of Gucci, I think of their really expensive looking pins on their sweaters. Last but not least to finish my outfit, I am such a sneaker girl. Can I make these look like Gucci, Nike Gucci sneakers? I've seen these sneakers all over Instagram. They're like a Nike Gucci crossover. I'm gonna be ballsy and try to make these what looks like cheerleading sneakers into Gucci Nike crossovers. So when I was first looking for my Chanel outfit, I was looking for like a tweed set, like a blazer and a skirt because that's typical Chanel. I decided to ditch that idea when I found this really cute Gossip Girl looking dress. It was very early 2000s, but I was obsessed with it. And yeah, it was pretty long, but I already got like this idea where I was like, I'm gonna cut this dress and it's gonna be cute and short. And I'm gonna add a bunch of stuff to the top because it was plain. So then I found these cute knee high socks that were like that early 2000s Argyle print that were cream and black and they totally went with the dress. So then I stumbled across these pointed toe pumps that were my size and I decided I'm gonna paint the bottom red to look like Louboutin heels. Ooh, six, that's my size. Oh, I could paint the bottom red like a Louboutin. Oh, that'd be so cute with the socks, OMG. And then last but not least, I decided I wanna get a purse and turn it into a Chanel handbag. So of course I found this cute little vintage looking satchel and I got that along with a few other jewelry pieces to maybe glue on the bag and help look more Chanel-esque. Instead of spending $3,000 on an Instagram photo, we're spending 30. And it'll probably have the same effect. We shall see. We are not crafty people at all. I had a very hard time trying to break jewelry and morph it into different shapes. So we're working and I look over at Gabby and her stuff is actually starting to look like Chanel and it's kind of freaking me out. I look over at Nikki and it's taking her like an hour to color this belt to look like a Gucci belt. And like by the time I'm done with my outfit, she's just finished her belt. Let me tell you that belt and those sneakers took so long. So as far as the sweater goes, I used the red felt letters to do the Gucci logo on the top left part of the sweater and then I just decorated around it with all these pins. And then the best part of my entire sweater, when I was at Hobby Lobby, I saw a bedazzled bumblebee pin and that it literally looks like the logo of Gucci and it just, it all came together. All the colors, the logo, the pins. 
My outfit was very inspired by Gossip Girl. In Gossip Girl, whenever they'd wear Chanel, it was kind of like this style, so that's what I was going for. It definitely looks very early 2000s. I'm really excited to see how it all looks together. All right, so our outfits are done, and now we have to go put them to the test. We're gonna put them on, see how they look, take some pics, and see if we can trick you guys. Oh my god. So this is the dress I made. I'm in love with it. Do I look trendy enough for you? I love the bow and the detailing on the neckline. And I love my gloves so much. I think I succeeded. I think we're gonna trick my followers and people are gonna think I'm loaded. <coughs> my favorite part about this whole outfit is the bag. My Louboutin heels. Am I trendy? Let's take pics. Okay, so I use my camera that I use for Instagram and just look at these photos. I'm gonna zoom in on the logo, hold up. And look at the shoes. I feel like if I like edit them good enough on Facetune, I can make them look legit. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pictures that could be options. I feel like I'm gonna get roasted in the comments. Like, yeah, this is really cute, but like, I feel like Gabby, look, people are gonna zoom in. They're gonna be like, this homegirl wants real Gucci. She literally DIY'd her outfit. Mm -hmm. I can't decide what pic I want to post. My dress, I feel like, looks like an actual like vintage Chanel dress in these pics. The sneakers, I feel like there's like sneaker fanatics and like all these guys are gonna be like tagging their bros in it and being like, these ain't real, rip off. Like I feel like it's hard like to win over like that's those yeah. like sneaker junkies. So like, I don't know why I tried to do that. I'm gonna fail. The people are gonna, it. people are gonna comment that ain't it. Yeah, I feel like I could already like tell what the comments are gonna be like, this ain't it. All right, so I'm going with the first photo is me showing the Gucci logo. Second photo is kind of far away. Third photo is the sneaker, and I put a lot of filters on it to try to hide the fact that we colored this ourselves. Ready? I'm really scared. Gucci, <laughs> everything. I'm gonna use a red heart. Ooh, that's so cute. <laughs> this is the most douchey post I've ever posted. Oh no. All right, okay, so time to upload. This the first pick, second pick, and then bitch look third. Loving my new antique Chanel, Chanel dress, gloves, and what is that kind of purse called? And clutch? Clutch cross body. Okay. All right guys, so it's a few days later. We've let our picture sit on Instagram and we collected some screenshots of some interesting comments of people that fell for it or people that are speculating and some compliments and insults. So we're just gonna review just, you know, the type of comments well, we have. I feel bad for this comment. It says, if only I could afford Chanel with crying faces and a heart. Well, clearly you can afford it because I made it and I'm sure it was like under like $20. So, someone said, we stand a trendy Gucci queen. Someone said, cute, probably can't afford any of that. So, someone replied saying, same. <laughs> someone said, this person's smart. I think this is a video. Maybe wearing fake designer and seeing what our followers think because Gabby's wearing a full Chanel outfit and Nikki's wearing Gucci with like the eye, the... This emoji. <laughs> Someone commented money can't buy happiness. I mean, that's real. Someone commented DIY queen. <laughs> ah! DIY queen if they knew. That one said, I liked you better with no Gucci, honestly. But if that makes you happy, you do you, boo. They said, you looking expensive. <laughs> I'm picturing you coloring that belt. With do a you know how ratchet that outfit looks in real life? The best one. Someone tagged their friend and said, I have this shirt. People replied, OMG, where is the shirt from? I need it. <laughs> Last but not least, my favorite comment on my photo was, I pull weeds with those gloves, LMAO. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah! They're from Goodwill. They probably are like weed Yeah, blowing. probably. 
<laughs> yeah, I just think it's funny. People either think like we're really expensive. Like the comments are saying I miss the Forever 21 Nikki or like you don't need Gucci to be trendy. And it's like, but I'm wearing, like you guys don't know it, but I thrifted these outfits. So it's still really me. So I think this experiment was very successful. I think it proves to you viewers that you don't need to go blow like $2,000 on something just to take a picture of it. You could just make it yourself. Back in the day, I remember I made my own DIY Valentino heels and no one in LA knew they were fake. Can I just comment the YouTubers that fell for it? Sierra Furtado, Mia Stammer, my sister Alex, Alicia, Alicia Laura DIY, Laura DIY uh, Jesse Page, Style by LMC, a stylist, Jasmine Whitley, she's a stylist, Meryl Twins, Wildflower phone cases, Adeline Morin, Tart. I fooled people. This was definitely a very successful experiment and we hope you guys learned from it. It's cool because if you're a creative person, you can like make your own custom designer, designer piece. Let us know in the comments down below if you found this challenge interesting. Did you guys fall for it? Like comment down below. Do you guys follow us on Instagram? We'll see you guys next time. Yeah. Bye. Bye.